In this video, we will see uh, install Mapper 5.2 on your CentOS Linux machine. So we already configured CentOS machine for installation of Hadoop cluster. In our case, we will log into Mapper website at www.mapper.com and on the products page, you would see following URL. Login as a root and download mapper setup from their website once you download it mapper setup you can change the permissions for mapper setup to execute that file it's a shell it's a shell script as you can see you can run it using standard Shell run. Press Y for installing the required packages, which will install Python, SSH pass, WGate, and other file system components. There are some warnings, you can ignore them. As you can see, we have already installed JDK 1.8, so that's why it said access success. Now you can define any other port. I have selected 9443 and pressed enter, which takes default. So here we are using a mapper to as an admin username to install on. This will install some more packages related to Mapper onto Linux file system. This will take two to four minutes, depending on your internet speed. Once you got success prompt, you can go to your browser and type host name of a machine and port number. Here I have added this fully qualified domain name into my windows host file. That's why I am able to access it. Else you can add public IP of your machine so port is 9443 it will take a minute Login with Mapper user and you can see the Mapper installer prompt a web page. Click on next. So here you can specify which version you want to install. 5.2, 5.1 or older versions. Let's install 5.2.0 with community edition. So there is enterprise edition also available. 
for which you need to buy the license. For us, we are going to use right now Community Edition. So here you can install the license for your user. So if you are not registered, please get registered so that you can enjoy your free license. So I registered for this one and after registration I got So I checked my mail and you can see uh, after adding those credentials, my user got validated. So here select uh, Napper ecosystem pack which is the latest one which contains different ecosystem components. So for us uh, we are going to customize it because we don't need every services on our cluster to run right now. We need specific services like we need scoop, we need high, we need yarn, etc. Flow also we need. Click on next. So here you can install MySQL Server while setting up the mapper itself. We set some database for Hive, Uzi, etc. It's always good to use MySQL Server for all those services. Here mapper gives us portal to install matrix for monitoring and for logs collection so it uses Elasticsearch and Kibana for logging purpose Kibana is a good reporting tool as well as Graphana so here we can specify cluster name Cluster name can be anything. For our case, let's say we we'll specify it as the root calls to It can be anything. Here we specify this on which we are going to install mapper. So in our case it is on STB disk. So it it gives us option to format from this portal itself. So we have SSH which is passwordless method. So we can specify mapper user with its password as mapper user is available on all the machines. Click on next. So you can see it, it uses log which says us that connection has been closed. So we can revisit, we can go previous tab and make necessary corrections. 
Let's try with the root. So as you can see, it has given us error as host unknown. So which is which we rectified by change, changing the host name in previous step. So here we have to select a disk on which which would be the part of your mapper file system. So here SDB will be the part of our file file system, which is 100 GB in size. So it also shows prerequisites which are passed or failed. So as you can see, it is passed. Similarly, for machine two also, it has shown prerequisites panel. Click on the next. So once you click next, it will proceed for installation of different services onto those machines. So it is giving us warning for opt directory which is 45 GB in space. It asks for more. So click OK to continue. So as you can see, these are the services which will be installed on the onto two machines. So here you can see the node layout which services are residing on which machines so for minimal installation this is the configuration which is available right now so here you can see we have added zookeeper on two two machines not actually added we can add it on two machines we should keep zookeeper on one machines or or number of machines which is three so CLDB is a service uh, which is which which plays very important role in mapper file system so it is a container location databases which is as similar to the HTML service we can say in one sense with respect to Hadoop. So as you can see, we have node layout available for those following services and we can click on install. So depending on your internet connection speed for your VM or your cloud, it takes some time. So you can see the progress by clicking on that particular machine. You can also view log while installation is in progress. So you will come to know whether it is spinning at a particular moment or not.
So it does number of things while installation, it configures database, installing mapper file system, and etc. So you can listen on 8443 port on mapper control system. So you are you have installed successfully mapper product cluster and now you are logging into mapper control system. Abbreviation is like a MCS, we call it as a mapper control system. So try logging with root. It, it it takes some time to initialize initially. Otherwise, it works. Click on agree. So now you can see uh, there are some alarms has been raised to your newly installed machine. So right now, disable to clear that clear those alarms. Not required right now. We'll take it care of it later. So you can see the navigation panel in the left side complete dashboard of from mappa it it gives you cluster utilization number of services available start stop etc it also shows you number of nodes which are healthy or if they are facing any problem or not so as you can see uh, you are seeing the different services available into the cluster With their complete information about different services and their login data. So that's all about MAPA product installation. So you can check www.cloudscope.net for more information.